Well, we continue to get you the proceedings as far as a special session of Parliament is concerned. We are now shifting our focus to some other breaking developments now coming in, which is a very crucial remark that is now coming in from a leader of the AIA DMK, B. J. Kumar, who in fact has gone on to say, and I'm quoting what he is saying, that the BJP is not in alliance with the AIA DMK. The AIA DMK, in fact, will decide about the alliance during the elections only. He's also gone on to clarify that this is not his personal view. He's gone on to say this, in fact, is the official stand as far as the party is concerned. BJP cadres want an alliance with the AIA DMK, but Anna Malai, the Tamil Nadu BJP president, doesn't want an alliance. He always criticizes our leaders. He is unfit to be the BJP state president. So he's all not well as far as the BJP and the AIDMK, the state of Tamil Nadu is concerned because AIDMK Neta in fact now saying that there is no alliance between the BJP and the AIADMK. Let's in fact listen in to that soundbite coming in. ஒரு ஒரு பார்லிமெண்ட்ல வந்து ஒரு ஆதரவு சகோதரி வந்து பாராளுமன்ற எதிர்க்கட்சி தலைவராக்குனாங்க அவர் எவ்வளவு உதாரணம் சொன்னாங்க 69% இடஒதுக்கீடு அப்புறம் பெண்களுக்கு தாலிக்கு தங்கம் இதெல்லாம் எல்லாம் எல்லாம் ஜாதி வாங்குனாங்க அதனால சாதி பாகுபாடு பார்க்காமல் மதம் பார்க்காமல் இனம் பார்க்காமல் மொழி பார்க்காமல் எல்லோருக்குமே வந்து உதவி செய்த ஒரே இயக்கம் அது அனைத்து இந்திய அண்ணா திராவிட முன்னேற்ற கழகம் so that's the word that's coming in from DJ Kumar. He's a leader of the AIDMK. He's in fact gone on to say that as of now, there is no alliance between the BJP and the AIDMK and things will only become clear during the elections. Let's get straight to our colleague Purnima Murli who's joining us on the broadcast. Purnima, this is a big statement that's coming in from the AIDMK and in fact, DJ Kumar is saying that this is not my personal opinion. This is the official stand as far as the party is concerned. Is there any reaction that's coming in from the BJP already? Well, so far, no uh, reaction uh, from uh, the BJP yet, but uh, D. Jaikumar says that uh, the statement that he made is not his personal opinion, but it's the party's stance. says Anna Malay always wanted to prioritize himself more than the BJP, and he and that Anna Malay had already criticized Jailalita, and uh, this time around uh, also adds that uh, right now there is no alliance with the BJP, only during elections it will be decided, but also makes it clear that Anna Malay is not fit to be the party's, the BJP's uh, president uh, of, the, of the state because of the statements that he's made against the ADMK leaders, including uh, uh, including Jayalalitha. So clearly, right now, the ADMK, uh, as uh, Jay Kumar says, that's the party's stance, that right now, no alliance with the BJP. It will only be decided in the run-up to 2024 elections. Uh, we'll have to wait and see how the BJP now responds to this. So far, no reaction, but in the coming hours, we will get to know the BJP's version on the statements made by the spokesperson of the AIADMK. So as Poonama is pointing out, as of now, there is no official reaction from the BJP. That reaction, in fact, will be crucial to watch out for. What will also be crucial to watch out for will be reactions coming in from the parties like DMK. This will be political fodder for them. But Poonama, I just want to understand, for better context of our viewers, DJ Kumar has personally hit out at the Tamil Nadu BJP president, Anna Malai, saying it's because of him that possibly an alliance won't work. What have been the recent differences between the AIDMK and the BJP? Well, remember, Anna Malai is, uh, is uh, on his Padayatra. This is the second phase of the Padayatra that uh, the BJP had planned in the run-up to 2024 elections to talk about the central government's achievements over the last nine years. And now, uh, we've seen that this is not the first time that the war is worth between the Tamil Nadu BJP and the AIADMK intensified. We've seen both, uh, bo both the, B the BJP and the AIADMK hitting out at each other. This time around, they are once again uh, angry with Anna Malai, saying that Anna Malai is time and again criticizing leaders of the AIADMK and also adds that the cadre of the BJP want an alliance with the ADMK, but it's only Anna Malai who does not want uh, the BJP to continue its alliance with the AIADMK, which is why Anna Malai is criticizing leaders. He's already uh, He was already condemned for the statements that he made against Jailalita, saying that former chief ministers have been involved in corruption cases. And this certainly did not go down well with uh, the ADMK. And finally, uh, Edapadi had in fact met 
Home Minister Amit Shah in the national capital in the presence of Sanna Malay and then they try to put aside their differences and work together for 2024 but now yet again uh, while the bjp is keen uh, to focus on how the dmk has opposed anathana dharma its own alliance partner the adnk now decides to hit back at anna malai saying that anna malai is unfit to be the state president right now there is no uh, question of an alliance with the bjp only in the run up to 2024 the adnk will decide who its alliance partners should be yeah and that is crucial punam as you're pointing out what dj kumar is also making it clear that in fact at the end of the day it will be the aia dmk's decision to decide whether they want with the alliance with the bjp and not the other way around as you were pointing out a short while ago that despite these meetings that happened with the party and leaders of the bjp to try and sort out these differences it doesn't look like that they reached any sort of closure because if that was the case we wouldn't have been seeing comments like these by dj kumar but when the ai dmk says that it will be them taking a decision there is also a larger political messaging being sent out to show who is the bigger alliance partner absolutely when it comes to tamil nadu ai dmk is confident that it's the bjp that needs the party more uh, which is what we've seen in 2021 state assembly polls as well where the bjp was able to win four seats and uh, therefore uh, the high command of the bjp is of the opinion that bjp should continue its alliance with the admk to perform better in tamil nadu in 2024 as well this is what uh, we've been hearing and there have been war of words exchanged between the state bjp unit especially anna malai versus the ai admk which is why the party time and again said that Uh, Anna Malai is not a big leader for him to make those comments. We've seen Nader Pagi hit out at Anna Malai. Anna Malai also uh, stuck to the statement that he made against former chief ministers of Tamil Nadu, including uh, Jaya Lalitha, that there were corruption cases against them. So certainly, the local BJP and the AIADMK are at loggerheads. And Nader Pagi time and again has said that it's the national leaders who will decide on the alliance, and he will not. uh and anna malay's words do not matter at the end of the day this is something okay. that the party has openly said and we'll have to wait and see sure. how the, uh, the 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 bjp now responds to this okay purnima we'll have to leave that conversation there thanks a lot for getting us all those details a big remark there being made by a leader of the aidmk saying there is no alliance with the bjp will be interesting to see how the bjp responds this is a developing story with that it's a wrap from my side but news continues here on cnn news 18 my colleague ayushman is in the